obviously this may be an ongoing issue through Okay, this may be an ongoing issue uh, probably through the evening and night. Eleanor is uh, still live with us out on Canal Boulevard uh, with a little bit more detail on what she has been saying there. Eleanor. That's right, Chris. Out here on Canal Boulevard, the underpass now getting very close to four foot of water in this roadway. What you can see right here is two men that were trapped in this car and now with EMS. Both are being treated. One in particular is sitting in a wheelchair. Um, it, it looks to me that he might have injured his legs. Some witnesses were telling me that he was throwing up. So maybe he, you know, took in some water. We were told that he came out of the car and then a, a gentleman from a business on the other side of the boulevard came in and pulled him out of the water. Both gentlemen are here now safe with EMS. Their condition, I, I'm not sure of that as, as of yet. But you can just see, Chris, how much water is here right now. Um, they, these gentlemen are very lucky. But as you can see, he's being wheeled off and in the care of EMS workers. The other gentleman here is just sitting down, probably in shock after what happened. He was standing when we arrived, Chris. He was standing at the edge of his car, so, uh, you know, he's probably going to have to get looked at in case he took in any of that water, stagnant water. So, uh, you know, it looks like the scene here, they're both being treated. They're both in good hands now. Witnesses are still lining the boulevard here, Chris, watching what's happening. But just making sure people stay away from the underpass, the Canal Boulevard, it is closed. And it's going to take a minute, like you're mentioning, for this water to, to clear out of here. Chris?